Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey and we are starting beginning a new week, a new book in the now we, we are in the New Testament. If you were following us during this time, we started in Genesis. Every week we pick one book in the Bible, a few verses, one verse per day or two verses sometimes. In the case of Psalms, we, we, we split for the books. The Psalm is divided in books, so we split that uh, in the books of the Psalms so because it's a big book. But the idea is just one book per week. And we are already in the First Corinthians. That is the book for this week, First Corinthians. It's a, it's a, a church uh, that Paul started, and it's a, a lot of problems there. A lot of problems. If you read the book, the whole book, you're going to see so many. If you think that your church has problems, you should read First Corinthians. And second, too, it's, it's a mess. There, it's a mess. So it, Paul was the, the pastor there, and then Peter was there, and then the Apollo was there. So a lot of big, big guys in the faith were pastors there. And even though the church was a mess, but in the middle of that mess, in the middle of this letter that Paul tries to correct, fix things, things that they were doing, things that they were believing or not believing. There's a, there's a few verses that are kind of beautiful lessons and gems for us, for our faith. So today I'm going to share with you right at the beginning, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. Look what Paul says. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. The message of the cross, the idea that God would incarnate, come, live here with us, suffer, be crucified, and resurrect. People say, it's, it's crazy. It, it, it cannot happen. It's impossible. It's, it's not right. It doesn't make sense. It's foolish. And Paul is dealing with these people there. And the church was dealing with this kind of people. And he said, look, this is for people that are perishing. They do not believe. They don't want to believe. They cannot accept that God did this whole thing. He's sending his son, uh, uh, incarnated and, and coming, living with us, suffering, being crucified and then resurrected. It, it doesn't make sense. They will not accept. It's foolish because they were... They are perishing, but for us, for us that are, who are being saved is the power of God. This message, the message of the cross, is the power of God to transform our lives, to save our lives. And this is what we need to understand. We are saved not because we're good, we go to church, we give uh, money to, to the poor, we help them and all that kind. No, we're saved because we were under condemnation. So we were in need of salvation and Jesus came, lived a, lived a perfect life and died for us as a sacrifice to pay our debts. This is why we can be saved. So for people do not, that uh, do not understand, do, do not want to understand, cannot understand, think that this is foolishness. Yeah, they are perishing. They're, they're not going to receive. They don't want to receive. They don't want to accept. For us, this message, the message that Jesus came and died for us to pay our debts, it's salvation. It's salvation. We is the power of God to save us. So this is why it's so important for us to understand the message of the cross, the gospel, Jesus coming, incarnating, living a perfect life and dying for us and resurrect. It's the power of God to save us. It's a powerful message that can transform our life. And some people, it's just crazy. doesn't make sense for them. Paul says they are perishing. They're dying. But we are receiving salvation because of that message. Because of what Jesus did for us. 
and this is our snack for the journey. God bless you.